Hey, what's up? This is Morgan Page. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick walk through of the studio. Made some changes uh, over the years and um, put a lot of new things in recently in the last few months. I'm going to be making a big change to the studio, but I'm going to just want to uh, sort of show you guys some stuff that I didn't address in the future music interview and uh, talk about some of the changes that are going to happen to the setup. So, uh, as you noticed, probably in the other interview, there was the Moog Voyager, the Prophet 08. Um, the motif really isn't getting used much at all, it's just a controller, it's got a good feel to it. Uh, the newest thing in the studio though is these barefoots, which are gigantic, and uh, they have their own crazy stands that actually weigh about 100 pounds. So there's all this crazy cabling, I'm uh, going to get a new desk, make things a lot cleaner and simpler. Um, as you can see the whole place has curtains, these are heavy duty theater curtains that really do a good job sort of blocking the sound and make it look a little bit more professional than it normally is. We have a giant bass trap here, um, just a secondhand couch that does a really good job. Every studio has got to have a couch, so uh, need that for sure. The whole place is filled with uh, Persian rugs, which also do a lot of good sort of soundproofing, uh, you know, help to prevent the reflections in the room and sort of dead in the room a little bit. Over here we have a little uh, thing I built. Well, just racked up. It's a bunch of the Daft Punk compressors, the Elisa's 3630s. And they're so cheap, they're like 60 bucks on Craigslist, so basically made my own little uh, uh, special custom unit there. Just power and a bunch of the stuff racked together. Uh, in the rack we've got uh, purple MC77, used for vocals like an 1176. Um, a DBX160, which is great for sort of just really punchy drums. I've uh, got a DBX120 for sort of subharmonic synthesis. Um, that lexicon's not really being used. The 737 is used for all the vocals. That was for Longest Road. Bunch of things. All the keyboards go through these Avalon U5s. Um, and pretty much the only outboard reverb I use is this cheap lexicon one. And I use that on pretty much every track. Uh, use some of the power conditioners by Monster. Those are pretty good. As you can see, uh, in terms of the setup here, there's a couple new things that I got. It's a Dramastic Obsidian, which is a great sort of uh, stereo compressor, kind of like an SSL. And uh, there's Prism Orpheus, everything's running through that, all the summing stuff. Uh, Dangerous Music D-Box, which is uh, amusing for summing. And uh, some cheaper stuff, you know, like this Korg controller, I'm using that as a transport for Pro Tools. Uh, that works really well with Ableton Live as well, worth every penny. And uh, we'll take a look around the back here. You can see the Mackies are uh, retired for the time being. Sitting in the corner. It's been behaving badly. Uh, great monitors, but I was looking for more detail and sort of a more accurate base. So that's what I was looking for with the Barefoots. Uh, all the cabling in here is Mogami. I love their stuff. Uh, it's going to be definitely um, a cleaner setup. Going to use more... Um, D subs and uh, snakes to get things together, make it easier to patch things in. So the next setup is going to be uh, a better desk than this IKEA thing. I've had this IKEA jerker desk forever. And that's pretty much it for the studio.